Hey friends and welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great and thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching it. So today is a really rainy day outside. It's really really dark but I still thought I'll go ahead and film this video because I need to film a lot of them so that you know I continuously post them. So the lighting might not be the best. Uh, the background might be a little blurry but I think my face is quite visible and I'm using a ring light plus I'm sitting right in front of the window. I just wanted to mention the lighting situation. So as you have read the title, this is going to be a huge collective haul. So this video might be a little longer than usual, but uh, there are so many products that I have bought over the last six months, and they have taken a back seat because I couldn't film these long style videos. Although I have posted a lot of shorts about products that I have purchased, so I might it might be a repetition in these long style videos. So nonetheless, this is going to be a haul video. If you like these kind of videos, if you you know want to know what I'm uh, going to show you in this haul, kindly keep on watching. Do subscribe to this channel and also ring the bell notification so that you do not miss out on my future videos. Without wasting further time, let's get into it. Okay, friends. So the first thing that I have purchased about which I have already made like a review video is this Itex Dazzler Foundation Stick. So this is how it looks like, and this is the box and this is how the packaging is. So as you can see, I have used it quite a bit. So basically, it's like the stick kind of format foundation, which they say can be used as concealer and can also be used as foundation. Well, I feel like it gives like an even coverage, and it's not like a concealer as such. So if you have really dark, I mean light dark, dark circles, then it could work for you. But if you have somebody uh, like me who have like deep dark circles, so ये काम नहीं करेगा. So I'm not going to give you an in-depth review. I've already done a review of this on my channel, and it is already up. So please go ahead and check it out, guys. The shade that I have got is soft caramel. So this is how it looks like. Again, very easy to glide and use, and it's perfect for everyday use. Now the price of this is 200, but I got it for 60 rupees. So yay for a big discount. And yes, this was the first product of my haul. Moving on, the next two things I have are eye pencils, and they can also be used, uh, you know, on the eyebrows as well as eyebrow pencil. Now, uh, both of these are priced at ten and twenty rupees, somewhere in that, you know, budget. Because I I don't remember the price exactly, but it's not malum hai ke bees rupee ke andar mila hai. The so first is this original artist pencil by ADS, and this is not a first time I've purchased it. I think uh, way back, like ten years ago, when I started, you know, uh, getting into makeup. I used to go to this place called Beauty Shop in Kandivli, and they used to have like a whole packet of these, and you should get it for like hundred rupees. So I really miss those days. I really feel like going out there, but somehow it's a very odd location from here, and I don't know when I'll end up out there. And in the meanwhile, there have been so many beauty centers and makeup thing, and I think online shopping has taken over our lives. Coming back to the point, I got this after a long time. So it's basically a pencil. It's a black pencil, and uh, this is how it looks like. And it also comes with an inbuilt sharpener, so ये ऐसा कुछ खास तो नहीं बोल सकते इसके बारे में, but it can work if you have nothing. If you are a beginner, I would suggest this. Now this is best, you know, for somebody uh, who likes to wear eyeliner, but it will smudge. The smudge proof तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं है. Like if you see, I have applied it, and it does smudge. So you will have to set it with an eye shadow. So I I have used this before and I know that waterline पे इतना अच्छा नहीं जाता है means you have to literally you know do that uh, you know you have to keep repeating uh, you know the application on the waterline it doesn't show well but as an eyeliner it can work really well so I'm really looking forward to trying this like it's a very basic pencil and you would wonder like you know I have so many nice things why this uh, some things are really you know those who are uh, there are some uh, product which are really inexpensive. And I love you know uh, these kind of things because I can then recommend it to everyone. And also, it's uh, so much fun in making things work which are not of the best quality. So I have started from a very small budget kind of makeup, uh, and now I have like you know a medium range where I spend money. So th these things are very precious for me, I would say. So yeah, this kind of made me nostalgic because I remember I had so many uh, different colors in these pencils, and I want to try uh, try them again. So this was my first step, I believe. The next thing I got is this uh, lasting fine eye pencil from this brand called N Y N. So I'm sure you must have not heard of it. Again, this is a local brand, and I showed it in my favorites video. So this is a deep brown pencil. Very hard to find these kind of shades as you know eye pencil, and you can also use it to fill the brows. Now today I didn't get ch a chance to try these. 
I'm not somebody who likes to fill their brows like every single time. So today I just you know skipped it. But this works best as that. I have also tried using this and making like you know doing a brown smoky eye. So yeah, I'm really happy I got these pencils. Kind of nostalgic and also the fact that they are like twenty rupees or less. That really make uh, made it uh, made my purchase really worthwhile. Moving on, the next thing I got are these uh, what do you call these? You know nail polish remover pads. So uh, these have really taken over the market. Like I think three or four years back, they started selling these, and many brands have been making this. So this is just like a local brand. There's no name as such. However, if you go uh, to this brand called Inside Cosmetics, they have something like this. It's quite expensive. That is like fifty rupees, and I got this for like twenty rupees. And you get a good amount of wipes. You get thirty two pieces for twenty rupees. I think. It's totally up to you whether you want to go for an expensive brand, but for me, this twenty rupees ka thing works. So it smells like oranges. Yes, it does smell <laughs> like oranges, heavily scented, which I have no problem with. It comes in different kind of flavors, like you know, they have green apple, then they have strawberry. I like this one. I purchased it, I got it, and I've been using it like a lot. So one kind of pad, you know, is good for your entire ten finger nails. So. I really like this product, and yes, this was the next thing that I got. Moving on, I'm only going to show you lip products for a while now because I have quite a few of them. So the first thing I got is a repurchase. Now I've already shown this maybe in a previous video. So this is that basic strawberry lip balm. It comes in a packaging which is quite flimsy. It always comes with a crack cap. I don't know what is the deal with that. And it comes like in this white color format. So as soon as you apply it on your lips, it turns pink. So yeah, it won't show on the camera as such, but it is a beautiful pink. I have done like a video uh, on my channel. It's a YouTube shot in that I have used this. So it looks nice and pinky and natural. So there are days when you know we women don't like to wear makeup, especially during our period that we are really frustrated. And this gives a nice pinky shine to the lips. Also, it's very moisturizing, very surprising for a twenty rupees ka lip balm. I would highly recommend you guys to try this. I also gifted it to my cousin. and i think she loves it as well so i think that speaks volume the next random thing i got is this pineapple lip gloss now come on look at the packaging like oh my god so i had this uh, lip gloss way back like i would say 7 or 8 years or even longer than that uske pehle maine ye liya tha and that time it was priced at something 20 rupees or something but now i got it for 50 rupees talk about inflation i tell you So this I got from the local market, and I really adored the packaging. Also, it said pineapple, so it instantly you know caught my attention. Now it's 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 a little bit sticky, but other than that, it's a really nice lip gloss. And oh my god, it just smells like pineapple. So I literally wanted to apply this today, but I thought you know for a video I might as well use my lip products because इतने सारे जमा हो गए. This will just give me some shine. So I will use this and I will post like a short video where I'll tell you a proper detailed review of this one. So let me know in the comment section if you're interested in knowing more about this product. So yes, these are the first two uh, random lip products I bought from the local market. Moving on, I have two lip glosses from this brand called Glam Gals Cosmetics. So you must have already seen the video on my channel. If you haven't, please go ahead and watch it. I've done a detailed review. So this is not a new brand. It is very much there, but uh, somehow maybe they are not that popular. Or they don't do a lot of these PR, uh, you know, strategies. Uh, they are just selling the products, and maybe they must be having a good, you know, loyal database. So coming to the point, this is a brand I already knew of, but I never tried their products. So when on Big Basket there was a sale, I got sixty, I got these each for sixty-five rupees, and I really like this one, so I bought another shade. However, I was disappointed with this one. So in order to know uh, my complete opinion, what I think of these, please watch my, you know, that YouTube video. I'll try and link it in the description. If not, please check it out on my channel. But this shade is to die for. I really love it. I've applied it, and yes, these were the two lip products or uh, lip glosses that I've got. Moving on, I have a lipstick from L18, and at the first time ever, I bought this from this this silk collection that they call. So this is L18 ColourPop Silk Lipstick. This is how it looks like. And the shade I got is W52, so they don't have a name as such, and I don't know if they really have a name or anything. If I find the name, I'll mention it on the screen. So this is the shade, uh, and this is how it looks like. So you can say it's like a mauve purple kind of color. 
to be honest when i got this i did not like the shade and i'm still confused whether i like it or not so this is how the shade looks like again i have done a youtube short video on this one so i'm not sure if it will go before this video or after this but i really really like the formula it's like silky smooth like they say and it smells amazing it has that typical l18 lipstick smell so if you have tried this lipstick then you would know this so i think the price of this one is somewhere around or if i can find the price it's 105 rupees i think l18 has also increased the price of their lipstick which is very funny but initially it used to be 100 then they bought it down then again they made it 75 which i became very happy about and then they made it 90 and now again this gone to 100 However, this silk lipstick is for 105 rupees and they come in a variety of shades. So I definitely want to try another shade in the future. Uh, this shade kind of looks good on me to be honest but uh, I would, would have preferred somewhere like you know a bright pink color or an orange color you know something like that. So okay this is lipstick is okay I would say nothing bad or nothing good. Yeah but this was my uh, next purchase. The next lipstick I got is from Blue Heaven from their Intense Matte Collection. You can never get uh, you know any less of these. I have al always been buying these. So this is how the packaging looks like. And uh, the shade I got is uh, one of the most popular one. It is called Aged Wine 308. So the camera may or may not catch it. But this is how it looks like. So it's basically a wine shade. Now I am not somebody who buys these kind of shades to be very honest. But I got sold on the fact that this is quite popular and it will look nice. So yes, I cannot apply it on my lips since I am already wearing a lipstick. But I will do like an in-depth review or I will do like YouTube shots where I apply the lipstick and I will show. Uh, in my opinion, uh, these lipsticks are only priced at 100 so they are really really amazing. The shade range is very nice. I think they have somewhere around 8 shades or something. Maybe 8 or yeah, 10 shades. Other shades nahi hai, but each shade is really unique and really cute and it will you know uh, really uh, interest you in buying it. So I have a couple of shades and I am also eyeing that chocolate swirl shade. This is like a chocolate brown lipstick. So as and when I purchase that, I will show it in my YouTube video. For now, this was the lipstick that I got, Age Wine. And yes, those were the two random lipsticks that I got. Alright friends, moving on again, I have three products from this brand called Dazzler. Now, Itex Dazzler. So now I think they have changed their name to Dazzler and maybe Itex has gone separate. I'm not sure of all that information. You can Google and check it out. For now, the products that I've uh, got, they are called as Itex Dazzler. So you can say Dazzler Lip Color. So I got three shades out here. This one is the most popular one which is a nude shade and I'm really looking forward to trying it. So the name of this shade is Autumn Spice. Yes, that's what it says. So this is Autumn Spice. Can you see that? It's a nude color. So if you buy these from Big Basket, like I have noticed, they always give you this lip balm free. So I had so many of them. I gave them away to my cousin, to my auntie and stuff. The lip balm is good. However, I wish they would have given different shades of lip balm. So, you know, extra addition ho jata tha kitty mein. So, the price of these are 200. I think they may have increased the price. I am not sure. I will place a link from where you can purchase these. I think they are available also on Amazon. So, whatever it is, please check the description box. Guys, I mentioned everything out there. If not, you all can comment and ask for the link or the name. The next lipstick that I got is... I'm, like, I'm not able to find the name it says DALC013 and it's called Viola so I'm really interested in seeing how this lipstick would look on me I'll just do a quick hand swatch yes it's like a purple uh, purple tone color you can say so this is how it looks like not bad and I got interested in this shade because I saw some video a dazzler you know lip swatch video and i got interested and the last shade i have is called candy and i think this is a beautiful red shade so i was not into liquid lipsticks for quite some time but recently i've got a lot of them so yeah i'm going to try the give these a try and i will let you guys know my honest opinion so i also had a pink one which i cannot find right now i may have shown in a previous haul video so this is how the shade looks like again liquid lipsticks can be drying but they can also be long lasting and they give you that beautiful matte finish 
So I'm really looking forward to trying these and these were all the lipsticks that I've got and I wanted to show in the video. Alright friends moving on I have two fragrances or two perfumes to show you guys so if you have been following me on my Instagram and also on my uh, YouTube shorts you know format kind of video then you would know that I have already shown these uh, perfumes I guess I am not sure about it but and nonetheless uh, the first perfume that I want to show you guys is from this brand called Ransons it's called One Smo EDP it has it is 40 ml and I think it's priced around 150 or 160 rupees so this is how it looks like and can you see how much I have already used it so I really really like these perfumes like I got them after doing some research on YouTube everybody was praising it but they were not able to you know uh, mention the scent it's kind of difficult I would admit so the second one I got is from Ramson it's called La Opale La Opal I don't know how you call it again 40 ml and can you see I've already used half of it and this is again priced in the same category like 150 or 160 now whenever I buy them I buy them on a huge discount like I got these uh, from big basket and I got it for less than 100 rupees so aajkal perfume like let me know if you know of any of those perfumes so this is not exactly 100 rupees again i got these on discount you get that kind of discount from this brand which is really commendable aap shop mein jaoge to aapko bilkul bhi nahi milega so i really really like these perfumes like this is like my everyday perfume and um, you know it's very difficult to find a good budget friendly perfume so this one the La Opal perfume has a lot of musk notes to it. Again, it has a little bit of floral and fruity as well. So, a perfect mixture, hai, uh, you know, of all those scents. However, this one has more kind of woody, woody uh, scent, and it also has a little bit of floral and a little bit of citrus. So, this is the best I could explain these perfumes, you know, the notes and stuff because uh, perfume. Uh, knowledge sabke paas itna nahi hota hai and I think some of the brands also don't mention the notes which kind of makes it difficult if I have to explain it on camera this is the best description I could give you guys and I would totally totally re recommend these I would give these like 5 on 5 for the price for the availability and for the longevity as well they easily last for like 4 to 5 hours and that is uh, generally even in summers so you can always you know reapply them and I really like this cute packaging and trust me I've gifted so many of these like me and my mom we have gifted so many of these to other you know cousins and friends in the family so I'd highly recommend these I will mention the link in the description where you can go ahead and check it out so yeah these were the two perfumes that I got alright friends so last but not the least I have a lot of hair accessories to show you guys which I'm going to show you very quickly because the video has gone longer than I anticipated so the first thing that I got is this so this is like this tic tac clip and it kind of looks really funky uh, but it's very cute as well so they have different colors and you get like uh, two of each and if I have to just remove and show you guys this is how it looks like so it looks really cute if you want to apply these I think clips and uh, hair pans are really in fashion right now and trust me I have a quite a good collection of these so as and when I go to Monday market which is in my you know local uh, marketplace uh, there is a market called Monday market so every Monday you have these sellers coming from outside and oh my god you get such inexpensive deals can you believe it I just paid 20 rupees for this clip and oh my god I'm in love with it so yeah this was the first thing that I got and I'm really happy about it so the next few things are only and only priced at 10 rupees can you believe that so if you go online and if you see all these instagram stores i feel they are just ripping you off i would suggest you to go to your local markets especially those local you know bazaar rehte hai. like some of them have wednesday market some have friday market go to those kind of markets and i'm telling you you'll find like hidden gems out there so i got two clips uh, this is the first one and this is the second one so again both are very similar in their you know design and everything but i really like the design so i bought two shades so this is how it looks like this is the cream one and this is the pink one so again it's like a clutcher you could use it on you know when you tie or knot to your hair or you can just use it after you take a shower so that you know your hair stays in place 
and generally clutches are better than using you know tight rubber band that way you know you'll have not have a receding hairline or you'll not have lot of hair fall but I, yes i got these for 10 rupees and i'm really happy with it okay lastly i'm just going to show you some hair ties a very basic and really cute as well so the first one is this bunch which i got which is like a black kind of hair tie and i'm wearing one today and i really really like it i couldn't believe i got this for just 10 rupees so it's really thin and perfect for my kind of hair because i do not have like you know thick hair so this kind of works for me so i got this one in black and it did not come with this pouch i removed the thing and you know put it in this because a lot of dust comes in our house and i'm very, i'm a big cleanliness freak so i like to organize my thing so i got it also in white you can see that and i really don't regret buying these so just 10 rupees so i'm going to buy more shades and more colors whenever i go next so currently it has been raining so i was not able to go now uh, this thing would really surprise you uh, but in one packet i got like six of these like scrunchy style you know uh, rubber bands so this is how it looks like this is the first one can you see that can you see all these different colors and i'll just remove one of them and show you guys so these are not too uh, you know they are not too tight and at the same time they are not too loose so it's like this perfect combination so it's like a fabric put on a plastic so i hope you guys know uh, like i hope you guys have tried scrunchies so scrunchies are really huge and uh, there are different different you know patterns in that so this is a similar style but a very tiny miniature version and this works for somebody like me who has not very thick hair and scanty hair so you know a ponytail looks a bit nicer so yeah this is the first one i got again a similar style format one i bought and this is how the packaging is so they come with different random colors and i mean for 10 rupees i'm i'm really sold really so i already started using one of these and i really like the you know the whole vibe and the way it works for me it doesn't pull my or tug my hair the last one i got are these color ones so they have like a similar color those ones had more printed stuff although there are uh, there is one which is printed here the other ones are these colorful ones so really nice really amazing for 10 rupees you cannot get anything better than this all right friends so that is a wrap for today so those were all the products that i have purchased in the last few months i trust me i have many many more things to show you guys so i hope you guys like all videos uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section so i'll be posting more haul videos if not in the long style then in the short style format whatever i feel comfortable currently so this video is a little bit longer than i anticipated but then i had a lot of things to show and talk about so i hope you like this video if yes please give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel also do not forget to share it on your social media it will really help you know in multiplying the views and the watch time for now i thank you so much for watching this video i will see you all soon in my next one until then take care bye bye